Hello, welcome to a GeoPortal template screencast. I'm Tobin from the Strategic Planning and Program Support Division, Mecklenburg County GIS. In this screencast, we're going to look at adding Google Maps to the GeoPortal template, which you will find embarrassingly easy. First, if you haven't already, you need to bust out your web browser, head on over to uh, code.google.com slash p slash geoportal download GeoPortal template either from the downloads or from latest Mercurial and uh, you'll need to put it into an HTTP server it's just JavaScript and HTML so any HTTP server will do IIS Apache whatever floats your boat now here I have GeoPortal running on my local machine and as you see you go over to the map nothing Google Maps -ish is going on here all we need to do to enable Google Maps in our application is if you go to default.htm and look where it's loading the JavaScript libraries, you'll see optional modules in Google Maps. And all it takes is uncommenting those two lines of code. Save that, head back over here, refresh the page, and look at all the googly stuff we've got going on. Let's head to an address, uh, let's see, say government center downtown. We can turn on Google Streets, we can turn on Google Satellite. This is really cool. Uh, the aerial imagery around Charlotte, North Carolina is 2010. Google Maps has better imagery than Mecklenburg County does. We are still sitting at uh, 2009. So, it's a very handy thing to be able to do. Add these straight to your map. And there we are. See, we've added all the Google Maps layers. We have also added a Google Street View widget. And there's the government center, which we're parked right in front of. It's smart enough to know based on where the address is located and where the nearest street view is located. It's computing the angle so you're facing the, the uh, point location of that address and not just kind of staring out due north. So that's all it took was on commenting that code and we are all set. Now there's two things to note. First we're using the Google Maps API version 2 because that's what's supported with the latest version of Open Layers, our mapping engine, which is version 2.9. You can actually go into Open Layers and I think somebody has hacked some code together to get three working. but. We're just going with the default open layers release. Because it's 2.9, that means two things. Street view, for one, is Flash, not HTML based, so your clients will need to have uh, Flash installed. It's generally not a, a bad thing. Uh, you rarely run across people that don't have that installed. The second thing is, if you're hosting this somewhere other than the local host with the Google Maps API version 2, you will need your own Google Maps API key code which you can just uh, Google for Google Maps API key code and it'll take you right here. Put in your site, it'll generate a key code and you'll just, uh, it'll be a big horrendous thing like this and you'll just put it at the end of this URL call and you are done. That's uh, adding Google Maps to the GeoPortal template, very easy. And this is Tobin, signing out.